Hey everyone, today we're going to go through how to multiply a matrix times a vector and then how to program it from scratch. So let's say we had a matrix, let's say we had a pen, okay, let's say we had a matrix A and a vector V and we basically wanted to multiply those two things together which would end up looking something like this. I think it will be a little more clear once we walk through a simple example. So let's start with a matrix one, two, three, and four, and so we'll call that A equals this, and V is a vector one and two. And our goal is to multiply A times V. So let's write that out. So we would have one, two, three, four, that would be multiplied with the vector one and two. So, you know, what do we do next? We take this value, multiply it with this value, and then take this value, multiply it with this value, and then add those up. So that's what is shown right here. So that would look like one times one plus two times two, which equals five. And then if we do the same thing, we take one and two times one times three and two times four and add those up together, which is the second part on the bottom over here. Um, so we take three times one times one plus four times two, and that would equal 11. So our final result would be a vector of the values five and 11. Um, if you don't understand this, I feel like you should just go through a few more examples, you know, work it out by hand, make sure you understand the fundamentals of the mathematics and then you can move on to the coding and it becomes significantly more easy. So let me erase some of this so we can make a little space for us to start programming. Um, this won't be, you know, proper code. This will be more pseudocode. So, you know, you could take this and work on it yourself. So let's start with a for loop because we're going to want to go through the values of a. So let's say for i in a. So that will basically take these values. So this would be i1, theoretically, this would be i2. And we're gonna want basically, you know, to get the first value here and multiply that first value with the first value of a vector or the first value of this vector. And then we'd wanna get the second value, which is here and multiply it with the second value here and then add those two results together. So first we get, you know, this. So we got the top part. Now let's make a variable called val equals zero, which will be where we store the value. And let's create another loop to loop through the values of i. So for, let's call it j in range length of i, we are going to basically take the value and we will plus equals i sub j, which would basically be, so let's say it was the first one. So at, let's say it was the first value up here. So it was the one or the two, uh, we would loop through them. So first value would be one, and then we would multiply that with the first value of the vector, which is right here, which would be v sub j, assuming v looks something like this so one comma two um so this code snippet right here would get you the values it wouldn't store it properly like it would not store it in the correct format of five and eleven it would probably the value and the value would be just eleven i'll let you guys work on exactly how to program this nicely but this is the basic idea behind it um if you want to test out this question you know try to implement it yourself or questions similar to this, you could visit my website, which is in the description. It's called Deep MLE. It's basically made to try and help you become an AI researcher or just better at understanding what's going on in the background of all these machine learning models. I hope you enjoyed. Tune in next time.